tell us what you got going on this whole uh, 4th of July week. Well, we got a golf, the golf tournament today. I'm a little nervous because it's my first time playing, but I've been out there practicing, you know, but you can't learn it overnight. But I'm going to try my best, so I need all the luck I can get. How important was it for you to find a way, find a couple different ways to give back uh, to the community here? Well, you know, it's good to, we find fun ways to give back, things that people love, enjoy doing. And, uh, you know, I just feel like it's a blessing just to turn out and, you know, the support that everybody come out here to support us and support a, a great cause that, you know, we helping people in need and helping, you know, our fellow Oklahoma. So. We know you're not spending your off season on your golf game. So what have you been up to? I've been working out, just working out, doing a lot of family time, you know, stuff like that. But. That's about it, you know, just trying to stay busy uh, with the kids, the wife, and just to the gym. What, uh, you been here? You been at home? Where you I've been, been here. I've been here uh, most, I've been here all the summer, really. I go home for weekends or leave for the weekends, but I've been here most of the summer. All right. What's the best about the, about the guys that y'all drafted? I love them. I think they uh, got great potential. Uh, you know, uh, you could just see the upside in them. And, uh, you know, we go develop them. They go come to our program, and they know it's one way how we do it, and that's just, you know, work hard, put our hard hats on, and sooner or later they go get the picture and learn. But we just see everybody improving. You know, I was watching them play yesterday from, you know, Jeremy Lamb. He's improved a ton. I mean, he's shooting the three ball like no other. So uh, I'm planning on trying to go down in the summer league for a day or two and watch them play, but I'm excited about it. You know, the youth that we got and, you know, even the, the young guys that we got now are veterans. So I'm just used, waiting to just lead them and, you know, just go forward. A couple of your former teammates got traded from Boston to, to New Jersey. What was your reaction to that? They, I mean, at the end of their career, they was they got some good luck, you know, to keep playing on the contender. And, you know, as far as with uh, KG and Paul, which the best for them, you know, I got a lot of love for them. So, you know, I'm glad they was able to, at this stage of their career to get into another great situation to try to win the championship. And as far as with Doc, uh, it's kind of scary going against him in the West now, but he need to be prepared. So, you know, we got love, but when we play each other, there's no love. Dude. It's gonna be weird to see those guys not in Boston Green, sort of like when you. Yeah, it's gonna be. To be in it's gonna be weird. It's gonna be weird, but you know, I'm just excited to see how how they how they go play. You know, you got a nice starting five over there in New Jersey with uh, Dan Williams and Joe Johnson, Paul Pierce, Kevin Garnett, and Brooke Lopez. I mean, if you look at it on paper, it's just if they go jail together. One more guys. What about Kmart? Kmart, well, we're going to miss him. I thought Kmart was a great teammate. Uh, you know, obviously, I always say, um, you know, it, it, it is a business, and at the end of the day, you do have to do things to make sure that at the end of the day, you know, as uh, far as financially, your family straight and everything. And so it was a blessing to have him. He was, he was a great guy while he was here, and we just wish the best for him. Too bad he's in the West. Okay.